In this video, we are going to talk about some of the new features of Tutor LMS 3.0. So let's get started. Now let's start with the course builder. As you can see, the course builder has changed significantly. Now the course builder is divided into three sections, the basic, curriculum, and additional. In the basic section, you can choose a title for your course. You can customize the course URL, and down below you can add a course description. If you want, you also have the option to edit your course with Elementor. Down in the options section, you can access the general and content rip options. As you can see, there are four content rip options available for you. In the right hand side, you can choose the visibility of your course. You can schedule your course. If you enable this, you can select a date and time for your course. Next, you can add a featured image to your course. You can add an intro video if you want. You can choose the price model. There's the free and the paid. Now with the native payment, you can add regular and sale price, but we will take a look at this later on. In the category section, you can choose the category of your course. All your categories will be available here. If you want, you can also click on the add button to add a category name. And if you want, you can also select a parent for the category that you are going to create. Down here in the tag section, you can add tags to your course. And finally, there's the author information. At the right hand side, there's a notebook over here. If we click on it, it's going to expand a notebook. Here you can take notes when you're creating your courses. You can also expand this notebook. You can drag it around your course builder and you can take notes while you build your course. In the curriculum tab, here is where you can build your entire course. You can add topics to your course by adding a title and summary and clicking on the OK button, you will be able to create your own topic. When you have created a topic, you can also add lessons within each topics. You can drag around these lessons and you can also create quizzes within these topics. You also have the option to add assignments to your topics, but you have to enable the add-on first. In the additional tab, we can add additional information to our courses. For example, we can add what will the students learn. You can add target audience. You can add your total course duration in hours and minutes. You can write the materials that will be included in your course. You can add requirements. And finally, you can add certificates to your course. In the right hand side, you will be able to add course prerequisites. You can upload attachments. You can also schedule live classes. Now that was the course builder. Now let's take a look at the quiz builder. The quiz builder opens up right over in this section. Quiz builder has been divided into two sections, the question details and settings. From the left hand side, you can click on this plus button to add more questions to this quiz. So if we click on it, it's going to ask us to choose a question type or quiz category. You can choose your question type and it will be added over here. Now you can see we have two questions over here. For our question, we have to add in the question over here. We can add a description to our question and then we can add options. This interface will change depending on what question category or quiz type you have selected. On the right hand side, we can access the question conditions. So now if we take a look at the quiz builder of Tutor LMS, it's much more easier and user friendly. Now Tutor LMS has added a native payment system. To select this native payment system, we have to go to the Tutor LMS settings, go to monetization and from the e-commerce engine options, we can select the native. From here, we can edit the currency symbol, position, thousand separator. We can enable revenue sharing and we can also edit the invoice. If we take a look at the other options, the subscription, we can see two subscription options. If we look at the payment methods, it's much simpler and easier now. We can already see that PayPal has been added. We can simply enable it and we can add in our information such as the merchant email, client ID, secret ID, etc. and connect our PayPal account with our Tutor LMS site. Again, if we want, we can click on add new gateway and add any payment gateway that we want. It's also possible to add a manual payment gateway. So you can add in a title, icon and payment instruction and it will be added in your payment methods. As you can see, it's much, much more easier for the users now. In the taxes tab, if you want, you can click on add tax region and you can see there are so many options to choose from. You can choose your tax region and customize your taxes from there. In the checkout section, we can enable the coupon code feature so users will be able to apply the coupon code during checkout. 
Now let's take a look at the pricing model of the native payment system. If we choose the paid option, here we can provide a regular price for our course or we can provide a sale price. You can also look at the purchase options. Here is the subscription only, one-time purchase, subscription and one-time purchase. So you can choose what type of purchase option you want. We can also add subscription plans just by clicking on this button. And here we can enter a plan name, price, billing intervals, billing cycles, and offer sale price if we want. With the version 3.0, we also got access to the AI Studio. Now you can use AI to generate contents for your course quite easily. With the new AI update, you can now generate content for your courses much easily. This will make your course building a lot faster and smoother. So these were some of the new features of Tutor LMS 3.0. So in the upcoming days, we will be uploading several tutorials and videos on TutorLMS 3.0. So if you want to stay updated, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get notified. So thank you for watching. See you next time.